Hello, welcome to the second session. In this session, we will learn how to insert or update the records in the database using logic script based on certain logic. The power of logic script is in its ability to create and modify records. SQL and MDX based commands are available to accomplish this. In this session, we will learn the rec command which stands for record. So before going into the system, let's create the scenario. The scenario is the user enter third party sales for April 2016 in order to plan. Let's assume that value is 100. Now, the logic script should take this value and 80% of it should be copied to account receivable and Twenty percent should go to cash. This is one objective. The second objective is while planning for April 2016, we need to plan for May 2016, which we anticipate as ten percent increase of the April 2016 values. So the values should look like. So in brief, the goal is the user just add third party sales value for April 2016, which is 100 or could be any value. And the logic script should take this value and use the logic which we will define and insert the other values in the database. Now let's go to the system. I have already logged in with SAP Business Planning and Consolidation NetWeaver 10.1. Now I am with the administration screen. Now I need to go to the logic script. Click here. It take a while. Oh, okay, we're there. Now, by, by looking at this screen, we came to know that the logic scripts are being defined at the model level. Now, we are using the planning model, which is the default model came with the, the default environment, which is the environment shell. So, so let's go to this planning. There is a default script let's go there let's read the command this script contains the logic which is executed whenever data is entered and sent so in whenever we have the inputs input form and we send the data to the database this default script will be executed now let's try to find the rec command We found it. Double click. Okay. So here we need to pick the dimension. The dimension we know is go to the dimension. This is account. Now we need to put the condition. The condition is all the values should be based on third party sales. So let's go to, to the method selection, pick the dimension. 
count let's search it based on id okay so this is uh, if you go to the id and description so you will find this is the third party sales okay so let's remove everything i will explain this later factor let's say we need to take 80 percent of the dimension is Count equals to number selection should be VS one twenty one. This is a contraceivable. So the third party sales value will be 80% of that value will go to the accounts receivable. So that's one thing. Let's close the bracket. Copy this statement. insert it so this is 2 this is the cash and 20% should do go here remove the else part validate save so what this code going to do so it, it go to the dimension account and pick the third party sales values the records which are related to this and 80% of that value will go to account receivable and 20% will go to cash. So let's try to demonstrate how it's, it's going to work. In order to do that, let's create a report. Go to Excel add-in. confirm the model so we are already in the planning go to EPM new report so account should go to the rows the time should go to columns go to time remove the default go to year 2016 second quarter April May. Another point we need to keep in mind 
in a logic script the values which we enter must be at the base level that is before doing any aggregation okay go to accounts remove the default we can find it pl010 find it Let's change to ID only. Find. So we got it. So move this. Yeah. Find another. and description so we have third party sales account receivable and cash okay okay yeah so we, we created the report go to options sheet options and data input so this is very important so we need to use this as input form so click here okay refresh it good now let's enter 100 here and just save the data okay yes ah, lovely great so you you noticed that 80 percent of third party sales is uh, being recorded in account receivable and 20 percent is recorded in cash so this is the one goal which we achieved so we achieved the first goal let's go to our original sheet yeah now the next goal is that the 10 percent increased value of april should be copied to may 2016 so let's try to achieve that let's make the sheet clean delete the values Save it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go to the now. Let's copy these two statements. Okay, so what's the 10% of 0.8? This should be 88. This should be 0.22. Okay, 
and for this account time should be 2016.05 let's copy this control c control v and here i want to increase the value of the account pl010 with 10% so it's already one so increased by 10% will be 1.1 so the account will be i i can ignore it time equals to 2016.05 okay so let's try to validate it's okay save it now go to the input form put the value 100 again Save it. Yes. Okay. So we achieved the second objective goal as well. So we entered hundred for third party sales. The 80% of this entered to account receivable, 20% to cash and for May 2016, the 10% increased value of April 2016s are being inserted into the, into the database. Let's uh, delete all these values. This is not just for 100, so it's for any value. Let's remove. Save it. Yes. Okay. This time just add, let's say, thousand. Save it. Yes. okay so it's working so i hope i hope uh, you enjoyed this session i will continue with the rec command command in the upcoming sessions as well thanks for watching